Apple shares shocked the world. They actually fell five days in a row, almost a 10% correction. Believe the stock is up this morning. You know who's going to tell us about it? The man who knows absolutely everything about Apple that there is to know. <laughs> Stephen Russolillo on the front page of the paper today. You and yes. John Chang. Yeah, yeah, John Very Chang. Very nice. Yes. Thank Spinning you. Spinning the Thank Apple you. story. Yes. <laughs> uh, so Trying to figure let's, out let's, what's going on. You know, yeah, and actually, that's a good place to start because the most interesting thing about this sell off is that it has not come on any specific piece of news. Exactly. There isn't one true fundamental reason why the stock is down so much. Uh, you can see here the chart, you know, it's been a fantastic right. run up. For, for quite you know, a while. It's up and there's 2 a little, today. It's up 2% yeah. today. So <laughs> right. it's, it's rebounding today. Right, right. But, you know, from it, it the, the, uh, the Russolillo front the page Russolillo effect. effect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last week it hit an intraday high of 644. Mm -hmm. right. From that level, it's fallen about 10. percent And so the, the worry is, what's going on? Why is this happening? And there were analysts and traders were citing several reasons. Some people were saying that it was just a technical reason that once it fell below 600, that exacerbated some of this selling. Uh, some people were citing rumors that they that they were going to potentially come out with a new iPad product that was going to be cheaper and could hurt margins. Uh, there were, I mean, there were a lot of flimsy reasons as to why this was happening, but I think really the big ultimate reason why it dropped was because it's just been up so much and it can't go straight up forever. And right. so you had to have some sort of correction at some point in time. And so we saw it over the last five days. We're seeing it now come back up again. And the story is not any different really today as it was a week ago. So I think that's the, the big thing. Absolutely. Here. I mean, you know, Apple is the ultimate momentum stock. And for the past few years, that momentum has been nothing but bullish. And it still is bullish. But every time that Apple stock has hit a key milestone, whether it's another $100 in stock price, another $100 billion in market cap, there's always been a pause as some people took profits. It, it would be as if the, the, the fact that it was hit, the stock was hitting a milestone reminded people of how much it has grown. I mean, this is a stock that's grown six-fold over the past three years. So anybody who's invested probably has some money made on Apple right. if they've invested over the past three years. Yeah. So every time they hit one of these milestones, you see some people take those profits, People see other people take profits, and they take profits and too. And I want to jump on, on a point you made there. You said that they're a big momentum stock, and that's true. We get that. But usually those big momentum stocks <laughs> are, are not the right. largest company on the planet by market cap. <laughs> I mean, this is a very unusual situation, yeah. right? The, the cult following for this company, for this company, for the stock, for anything Apple-related is just, I, I would say, it's unprecedented. And you can see uh, the five-year chart yeah. there. That's what George was just kind of alluding to. So, so you're right. So, I, I mean, George, George brings up a fantastic point is that whenever it hits these key milestones, you see, a, you see a little bit of a pullback. The thing that caught people's attention this time was that that little bit of a pullback was a little bit more than it usually is this time around. So, you know, the big question is, is this it? And a lot of people are asking that. Is this it for the Apple rally? And personally, I don't think so. And I, I think a lot of people are in the same camp where, you know, they still expect this, this stock to keep going higher. There's no reason why it shouldn't right now. You know, the story is still the same. The Apple story is amazing. And so uh, for now, it seems everything is intact. But that's for now. That won't last forever. And I think people need to understand that. Apple. Maybe this was a wake up call. Uh, for that for that line of reason apple reports next week i would think that that the momentum the positive momentum behind apple would would come back then and and i mean look at it. who else would you rather own in the mobile space you want to own rim do you want to own Nokia? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to own Rim's phone, <laughs> which I have right here. No offense, guys. But, I mean, you know, to me it seems like you're right. The fundamentals for Apple look great. They're going to report earnings. You know it's going to be a blowout quarter. If it isn't, my God, the world might end. But, I mean, you know it's going to be a great. But, again, this is a, a thought that I had, and there's nothing fundamental behind it. But I just think when a stock starts getting to be that much money, more than $600, $640, I just think psychologically people are less inclined to buy it because it is expensive. Absolutely. And I don't care what the PEs are, I don't care what the fundamentals yeah, are. The law when you're numbers, putting right? down, and I'm talking about you know, most normal people, that much money for a stock, I just think it becomes harder and harder to justify buying it. And I think you're seeing that. For the average shareholder, however, I mean, and there for was the something. For the institutional, right, and, and it picture. is, uh, Apple is, has a heavy institutional yes. holdings behind it. So. Yeah. Right, and uh, yeah, the PE ratio for Apple is still, the, the, the stock is still considered pretty inexpensive right. at this point. Especially when you factor all the cash that Apple has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We could turn this show into a, the Apple, <laughs> the Apple's hub. Right. I let's like not. them apples. But uh, yeah, let's not. We'll move on. Steve Russell, thank you very so much. much. Guys.